I developed shyness because I had such a distrust for everyone. Growing up, Jodi Ortiz struggled to open up to people. Even simple interactions were difficult for her. Usually, me or one of the other people in my best friend group had to speak for her. Jodi really showed her antisocial traits when uh, someone went to go hug her goodbye or hello, because uh, she really, she could not hug for the life of her. She just felt so socially awkward hugging people, even family members. But this level of shyness was something I've never seen before. You could tell by her demeanor that she um, was not very outgoing. Whenever maybe we corrected her on something or she laughed, she would just cover her face. Um, I guess the term is act all shame. When I did like find that distrust, I started to see everyone else as like a disappointment. So I didn't want to open or build new bridges because I knew it was just going to fall apart. When Jody entered her freshman year at Hilo High School, she decided to push herself out of her shell. So she signed up for K-Vikes, the after-school TV production club. She didn't think much of it at first. I expected them to just give me a camera and then just work, like take pictures and then do whatever. She was just so quiet that even when we're fully involved, getting ready with production, and then you think, well, where's Jody? And there she is just sitting at her chair, just waiting for instruction. So that, that was quite interesting when she first joined. But when the club needed a new technical director, Jody found herself manning the switchboard during live broadcasts. And that's when things began to change. As a technical director, she really flourished. Her hands were lightning fast. We usually call her Quick Shot Jody because she would just get the right shot. Our live stream just got 100% better. With that, she just blossomed. Her attitude changed, her demeanor changed, the way she spoke changed, the way that she started to interact with people changed. They shared deep ex like personal experiences with me and they trusted me. So they would share something so personal to me and then I would say something that was personal to me to them. And that's the type of trust that I developed for, like, for people. As she opened up to her classmates, Jody found herself developing confidence and leadership skills due to her having trust. She's influenced me to like try harder, like because she's shown me like stuff that I can do, and she always tells me like even if I mess up, she always tells me you did great. It's okay, like just keep on going. When it came time for elections, it was just a no-brainer that Jody would be elected president. In order to get over your shyness, you definitely need to build trust. This is Leilani Guerrero from Hilo High School for Hiki No.